the Bruce channel. My name is Brandon and today we're having Bruce time. Grab your coffee, let's talk. We're gonna have a conversation about five things that I would tell my younger self. All right guys, so it's still the beginning of the year. I don't know about you, but I pay close attention to the seasons, um, to the months, of where I am and I always wanna make sure that I am progressing. But not only that, I like to take inventory of what I've accomplished, what I've been through, because you know sometimes when you take a look back, when you just look over your shoulder, looking back will actually give you the strength to keep moving forward. So I think it is, and I just wanna encourage somebody that it is very important. Take time, sit back. You don't have to stay in the, in the past, but look back, because I'm pretty sure that if you took yourself, if you just look a couple of weeks ago, you're different. If you looked a couple months ago, you're different. You're not thinking the same. You're not moving the same. So you are making progress. You are making strides. You are stepping out on faith. It is very important for us to sometimes look back to keep moving forward. Yeah, that, that's a word. So let's jump into today's video. Today, I want to talk about five things I would tell my younger self. I wrote this blog a couple weeks ago, and I decided to save it for a video. And I probably will upload the blog as well. Remember, check my website out, brandonbrewster.com. You can find all my blogs there and even YouTube content as well when I post it. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. You got your coffee? The first thing I would tell myself, my younger self, and when I say younger self, I'm talking about 15, 16, 17 years or so. You know, those years where you just don't know what you're gonna do with life. You don't know what direction you're going into. I'm talking about the years when you go to college and you just like, I picked a major just because, you know, I didn't have all the answers and you probably didn't have them all too. You probably got in college, changed your major three times, maybe. But the first thing I would tell myself is to relax. That's the first thing I would tell myself. I remember when I was turning 30 and I was feeling all of the stress, all of the pressure of being 30 because I felt like I had not accomplished enough. But shortly I was telling people and they were telling me like, what, what are you talking about? They're like, you're doing good. You're doing great. You, you just bought a house when you were 29. What are you talking about? So I'm like, yeah, but I feel like I haven't accomplished enough. I need to go a little further. And they were like, no, relax. They was like, some people don't even see their 30th birthday. Some people don't see 29. You are in, you are where you need to be at this moment. And I just want to let somebody know that as well. You are where you need to be. Now, you may not like where you are, but surely, like I said, just look back over your shoulder. You are not where you used to be. You're in a different place. So that's one thing I would tell myself because I'm an overthinker naturally. And sometimes I just need to relax. Sometimes I just need to stop thinking and overanalyzing stuff. Sometimes I just need to chill and sit back. Uh, number two, I would tell myself, and this just goes with what I just said, you don't need to know the outcome. Man, I can't tell you how many times that I would trip myself up into stressing out because I didn't know what A, B, and C looked like. All I knew was that I needed to do this, but because I didn't know the outcome, I wouldn't start. I wouldn't jump in. I've gotten a lot better with that now, but even now in my adult life, it still creeps up on me. But what I had to realize that I have a skill of overthinking, but I need to overthink when it's time to overthink. Like at a board in a boardroom, you need to overthink and be able to analyze stuff. You be, need to be able to think three dimensionally quick. Not all the time, personally, oh, what to wear? Oh, should I go to this event or not? Is either a yes or no? Like, why overthink it? So I'm still learning in different dimensions of when to do that and when not to do that. Let's keep going. Number three, you don't have to wait for anybody. And I'm gonna read what I had here. It says, growing up, I always felt like the oddball in the family. Uh, there were things I wanted to do when nobody else was doing it. I wanted to learn golf, and I still wanted to learn golf, y'all. I still never learned while everybody was playing basketball and football. I was more focused on what people would say about it. Would they say it wasn't a real sport? So because I didn't see many people doing it or it not being popular in my family, I didn't do it. 
And now I know that doing those things is what makes you uniquely you. Like, I'm a nerd. If I'm up at 2, 3, 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably Googling weird stuff. What are toilets made of? Let, let's <laughs> that's just random y'all but that's how i am that's how i think and i like over the years i've gotten to be okay with me being by myself and not always running off what is popular and feeling like i'm less than because i don't have a um i'm not interested in what's being popular what's being presented and i'm okay with being myself uh, number four, I would tell my younger self to leave the nest. I'm going to read this one because this one is really good. I remember when I first went off to college, I became homesick. Yeah, I was homesick over two, two hours and 15 minute drive. I thought two hours and 15 minutes was like 16 hours. Um, I was only two hours away. And if I could do it all over again, like if I could really go back in time and create that time machine and go back, I would most definitely go far away. I would probably have went to a music conservatory and just never came back. Like I am trying to get out of this state this year. That's one of my goals. And I feel like if had I did it then, I probably would have been in a whole different direction. But um, I'm not pondering on it. I'm not regretful. Um, it's just something that I would have told my younger self, just go, do it scared, you know? Number five, this one is a real good one because I think a lot of people need to understand this one. I would tell my younger self to love me. Why I said that? I said, when I tell you that comparison kills, I should be wearing a t-shirt that says that. And I can remember not loving me for all of my quirkiness. I said, I developed, so I developed a huge love for tech very young. And like when I tell you at six and seven, I could take a computer apart. I remember my dad, he would have problems with his floppy drive, um, his floppy drives in the computer. You see how old I'm dating myself, but he would have issues with those and I could take it out and install a new one at six and seven years old. Like when I say I'm nerd, I'm a nerd, I'm a nerd. Um, but kids were still playing PlayStations, Nintendos, but I'm talking about the game console that you had to take the cartridge out and you had to blow and you had to put it back in. That's what I'm talking about. Kids were asking for toys and all that kind of stuff. Me, I was asking for a Palm Pilot. Do y'all remember Palm Pilots that had the green gray scale where you pull out the stylus and you could put a calendar and put notes in? That's what I asked my mama for Christmas. And she actually gave me one. I actually got two. I had one grayscale green backlit and then i had one that came in color it had a sd card slot i could put mp3 songs on it yeah that was just like it was i was i was yeah the kids they wanted playstations and i wanted a palm pilot that's what i was doing but me feeling like that it was like one in a dozen like you stay you stand out because What's popular is PlayStations and you saying you want this. And so I dealt with that when I was young and I'd be like, so it's kind of like you don't want to tell everybody that you know everything or that you're smart in this area. So you choose to hide it. But now I'm just like, <laughs> it's the norm. If you don't know this stuff, if you don't know how to work Gmail, if if, if you don't know how to work a computer nowadays, you can't get a job. So... I would tell my younger self, love those quirky parts of you, um, invest in them. Um, like, hey, you're you're doing you're doing what you need to do. You're loving what you need to love. That's exactly what I would go back and tell myself if I could. But now that I am who I am and I'm where I am, where I am, I can just take these things with me. But honestly, y'all, I can truly say that I really do love the man that I have became and still am becoming. Never stop learning, continue to be a student, and that's it. That's all. I just wanted to do a reflection time right here. Let me know in the comments if uh, what, what would you go back and tell your younger self if you could, if you had the chance to go speak to that 10 year old girl or that 10 year old boy, what would you tell yourself? How would you uh, invest or how would you encourage that person to know like 
many years ago you're going to be doing this or you're going to be here let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe y'all i am on my way to 1000 subscribers and i would love to see you subscribe hit the notification bell as well so that you can see every time that i upload new content thank you so much have a blessed day